going on everyone Lex Empress here where spirituality is our fashion statement so today we are going to get into uh, ex love reading for cancer it is your turn for your mask off a person past thoughts reading uh, we going into September so let's get it cracking could be a past person they trying to tell you something if you're still dealing with this person this could be messages of confirmation it could go multiple ways. You will know how the message resonates with you when it comes out. But this is definitely some past person energy. Mm -hmm. I tried to use money as a form of control. Just flipped over, baby. Cancer, what's going on? Okay, let's see what we got. Thank you for tuning in, y'all. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe to the videos. I don't want it to come out. Okay. Alright. So. So. Oh, these same cards want to come out. So, I am just a fuck boy or fuck girl. So, they not in that king and queen energy at this moment or when you guys were dating... Or together. They still saying they on BS. Here go. I tried to use money as a form of control on the bottom. So this must be very significant to your reading. That you was dealing with a person. That could have been wealthy. Or had some form of uh, reliable stability. They brought most of the stability to the connection. And they tried to use that against you. Or use it you know, as a form of control. Yeah. But that was their own insecurities because they saying they're a fuck boy, fuck girl. So that's their own insecurities that was taken over. It says I'm addicted to drugs. So I kind of want to, I re usually don't read these cards in reverse, but I kind of want to take a look at both sides here. You, some of you guys that were dealing with somebody that was addicted to drugs. Cigarettes and marijuana is what I see prominently. I don't see like hard drugs like cocaine or heroin or anything like that. But I see either or. There are two options. Cigarettes was a big thing or marijuana. Okay? And I am jealous of you. So this person is jealous of you because you can't make it without them. So you are growing your own stability without this person. That's why they're jealous because this card talks about material wealth, material abundance. So they're not with you. And when, when they decided to leave or move around, you have built, still built your own material wealth. So this person is jealous of the things that you have. You could have a nice house. You could have bought a nice car. Um, you could be currently... Um, living your best life without them and they are very upset about that but they know that they ain't on nothing so they don't approach you because they already spilling the tea on themselves by saying they're just a fuck boy or fuck girl they just gonna be on bullshit i think this person understands the connection that you guys have but they don't want to do right when i say do right like be faithful <laughs> um, show that they care they just want to sit back smoke their cigarettes or smoke their weed and and do them while doing others at the same time what else going on with cancer's love life what else we need to know this is very open ended this section anything can come out what else we need to know okay What I just told y'all, didn't I just tell y'all y'all getting y'all getting a home, y'all in the process of getting a house, freedom, casual, being single, lightness, being single, doing you, not worry about nobody else. I ain't worried about you, don't worry about me. We ain't worried about each other. Get on up out of here. That's what y'all on. Y'all ain't worried about nobody. Y'all like look. We been that, done that. It ain't work out, so I got to fly like a bird. Fly like an eagle. 
Let your spirit be free. Come on and fly. Y'all know that song. Something like that it said. So this is what y'all learn right now. Y'all flying. Y'all being free. Y'all accepting the task of being the emperor in your own life. Okay, Cancer? And you got home. Property, real estate, residence. Some of y'all getting ready to move. Some of y'all getting ready to make a big move in your life. Some of y'all getting ready to get blessed with something that you've been praying for. And I see home here. I just said that before this car came out. I see a house. Some of y'all get ready to get that big house for you and your children that you've been wanting. Or for yourself, baby. For yourself. We got union flipping over in the reverse. Union says, serious relationship, marriage, partnership. So you don't want that right now, Cancer. You like, man, look, I've been there, done that. I just want to be free. I want to be free. You got freedom right here. It only makes perfect sense that you got union in the reverse. As of right now, you just doing you. You ain't trying to hold nobody down. And you don't want nobody holding you down right now. You're like, look, I got this. I'm cool. God didn't bless me with all the equipment and capabilities that I need. So what I'm going to do right now is focus on getting me the place of my dreams. And living a lifestyle that makes you happy, Cancer. That's what you want. The home of your dreams is on the way, baby. You manifested this. This this group of readings that I've been doing has been showing the relation of what the reward is for loving somebody properly that didn't love you back. Not to say that you should continue to do that, but we all grow go through those hardships with relationship. So because you went through your hardship with relationship, this is a form of your reward that you have manifested. Most people manifest new love. Most people manifest a new soulmate. But Cancer, you manifesting a new home. And that's exactly what you're going to get. <laughs> that's exactly what you're going to get, baby. A new home. That's your reward. I've been seeing a lot of different type of rewards coming through on these readings that God is blessing. But your reward, Cancer, is a new home. And it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be up to your standard. And God's going to bless you. To have this home. It's going to be like. Um, the home where everybody comes for Thanksgiving. For Christmas. It's just going to be. Um, one of those places of comfort. That your family can come. Your children. Your children's children. It's going to be one of those type of homes. You're building legacy now. This is the thing that you got to get about. Yourself. Cancer. All of the hardship that you went through. And that you may may are mm, that you may be going through now is coming to an end because you are building generational wealth for your family and you're willing to share it that's why you're being blessed too because you're not a stingy person you're willing to share throughout the heartbreak throughout dealing with somebody that was you know in smelling their own shit shall i say Somebody that was smelling their own self, that was really just about self, that was giving off narcissistic energy and portraying narcissistic behavior. You have understood the message. You you took the lesson and turned it into your manifestation and prayed yourself up on some good living, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That's how you come back from that. Come on. Let's go. Let's see what other messages God has for you today. Perception. Oh, participation. I just love, okay, look, side note, guys. I love the word perception. So <laughs> that's why that, that came out of my mouth so fast because I love the word perception because it speaks on so many levels of the mind, the heart, and the soul. Perception to me is about how you see things. And you know, we can see things in many different ways. We can see things in a loving manner, we can see things in a logical manner, we can see things in a spiritual manner. So my thing is, what perception are you looking at the situation with? Maybe that's why I said that, so you guys can have a moment to critically think about the things that I have brought to your attention in this reading. Okay, just a side note. <sighs> okay, let's get some more energy here for my cancers. What else cancer needs to know? 
Ooh, okay. Guidance and stress. Mmm. Okay, I think awareness. Okay. And exhaustion. Again, this was in the Scorpio reading. I think that um, God is trying to tell you with the participation of you deciding. This is a decision that you have made, Cancer, to be free. This is a decision that you have made to be single and to be free and be lighthearted. And not to say that you ain't talking to nobody like you ain't got no boo things or nothing, but you ain't looking at them like somebody you want to marry tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Your participation in this is allowing you to be stress-free. Because we have stress here, but it's clarifying the union in reverse. So this is saying, I kind of feel like this is coming across like if you were to go into a union, it would bring too much stress in your life. Like, you would be trying to juggle too much. Look at this person. They trying to juggle too much. Let me pull it back so you can see. Come on, focus, babe. They trying to juggle too much. Like, they got too much going on. They got three legs. They got what? Three arms? Four arms? Like, wait, look. Can you see? Oh, there we go. Focus. Oh, yes. Good job. So, they got like four arms. They trying to juggle everything. They... They got three legs. They ain't standing on solid ground. It's just like it's too much going zone. Too much going zone. Okay, Cancer? So you kind of like dodge the bullet by staying single because I think you came across a dating pool that's wackety, whack, whack, whack. So you got to just, you know, go with the flow and, and let it be so. Like, at this point, you deserve more than what you're coming across. And you're choosing the right. So this is for people that are truly single. If you're truly single and you making moves, boss moves by yourself. Then this is truly your reading. Because God is getting ready to bless you. Because you're following his guidance. We got guidance that came out. This is following God's guidance. Like God has his angels around you. Look at that. God has his angels around you. Surrounding you. Keeping you safe. And guiding you to this home. To this new life. Guiding you to this new life. This guidance is taking you to this new life. Home and guidance. Guidance and home. Taking you, guiding you home. Home is where the heart is. This is your new life. Welcome home, Capricorn. Ooh, why well, I say Capricorn? Ooh, 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 ooh. Welcome home, Cancer. Welcome home. But Capricorn may be significant in your life. Like your mom or your dad may be a Capricorn or one of your brothers and sisters that I'm picking up on too. That's really having your back at this moment. That's really guiding you through. Or it could be like a close cousin or a best friend. So yeah, somebody that's a Capricorn is around you that's giving you sound advice. Because Capricorns are good with money. So they may be teaching you how to save money. They may be giving you advice on what's a good market to shop in for a home. Or, you know, what's a good starting price or what you should be putting down as a down payment. Something that got to do with money that this um, this Capricorn is giving you advice with. Okay? Come on with it. Come on with it. Welcome to your new life, baby. Cancer. Let's get some romance angels on this love that came through. Because you sing when free. So we ain't got no new no new love on this table. But we're going to see what this old person got to say since, you know, this was an ex reading. But you just came on through and swiped all that nonsense out. But we'll get it. We'll get one card for them. We, what they got to say. Free yourself. All right. All right. Freedom. Freedom and free yourself. You got two freedom cards. It's time to move around. Well, I feel like you already have. But if you haven't, this is your confirmation. To move around. It say it's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself. Okay, Cancer. I had to say that real calm because it's like everything slowed down when this card came out. Because God was like, hey, be cool. Just say it in a nice, soft voice. They'll understand better. So hopefully y'all got that message because what's understood don't need to be explained. If you don't understand it, you're not ready. But if you do, it's time for you to go. All right, Cancers. Thank you for tuning in. This is your September X reading. And until next time, let intuition be your guide.